Hi guys, so I'm here today to address something that's happening right now on Twitter and it's really not right. So I want to put it right. I want to speak up. I want to speak up against woke culture. I want to speak up out against, you know, woke people. Because this is not right. This behavior is like literally out of control. Like these woke people are literally like animals on Twitter. It's so, so crazy. That was 31 year old Ali London of London who used to look like this, but now he looks like this because he wants to look like this guy. Welcome back to Bible Bears, everyone. I'm Ryder Cullison. So I told you I would lead off with a joke and I had a really good time travel joke for you guys, but um, you didn't like it. You get it? Because I traveled and you know, never mind. So some interesting things going on in the world of woke and LGBTQIA, I don't know, there's so many letters. It's almost like a clash of the titans. Woke versus the LGBTQ community. Why? Because Ollie London, who I just showed you, he's like some type of Brit personality, wannabe singer, he's got some music videos up. He wants to look like his idol, Jamin. Did I pronounce that right? Jimin. I think his name's Jimin. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. But anyway, Jimin is a K-pop, which is basically Korean pop. He's a member of the K-pop super group BTS. All right, this is a big thing in that part of the world. Uh, maybe not so much as in the States, but it's still pretty big. So, Ali London, idolizes this guy, other guy, G-Men, and so he's undergone like 15 plastic surgeries totaling like $150,000 so that he can look like him. If you look at this guy's picture and, and his nose, it, it's a little reminiscent of the transformation that Michael Jackson went through, all right? Now, why is this so controversial other than the fact that it's really strange to alter your face because you idolize somebody else. Well, I'll tell you. Ali London, of course, is a guy, and he's white, and he's trying to be Korean. Now, to, he so wants to be Korean that he spent $150,000. Now, here's the issue. He considers himself, one, as non-binary, which means... He considers himself to have no gender, not male or female, but he also considers himself to be transracial, okay? He believes himself to be a Korean trapped in a white person's body. You know, I can't say a white man's body because he's non-binary. I can't say a white woman's body because he's supposedly non-binary. So his pronouns are they. So. Technically, when I refer to London, I'm supposed to say they want to be Korean. London feels more in tune with the Korean culture. Not just with, he doesn't just feel like he's a Korean person. He just feels more at home with the Korean culture as well. So now, in his mind, he's Korean not just Korean race, he's Korean nationality, right? Okay? So, I mean, there's Koreans who live in America who are Americans, and they consider themselves Americans. But London considers himself actually Korean now. So, you might think that because he considers himself non-binary and... Um, considers himself as another race trapped in this body that communities all around the world would embrace the the trauma if you will the the anguish that he's been going through all his life but not so many Koreans and other people that London suggests are from the woke community are upset about it some have said hey as a Korean this is really ticking me off right now. Nationality is not that simple. And that person is right. You can't just decide to be French 
or Cambodian or Brazilian or Portuguese. You have to actually be born in that country. But uh, to Ali's point, if you can just switch genders, then why can't you just switch nationalities? Another person said, suddenly deeming themselves Korean is incredibly offensive, especially, especially since it effectively trivializes our identities because they're suddenly trendy. Uh, did that person not just sum up what's going on uh, with the transgender craze where 13-year-old girls disproportionately are trying to get gender reassignment surgery? Perhaps because it's trendy. Now, there are many more people that came out, tweeted, said, hey, they were pretty upset with this, which prompted London to release that video that I played for you, uh, the snippet of the video that I played for you at the beginning of, of this uh, episode where he's basically calling out the woke people for saying, hey, look, um, if you can be transgendered, why can't you be transracial as well? Now, a spokesman for London has said he's always struggled with identity issues. He feels more connected to Korea and the Korean culture than his own. And London has said, I feel that, he's, that I've been trapped in the wrong body and the wrong culture. He continues, the only people that need to be canceled is the woke people because they are so dangerous to freedom of speech in our society. Hey. There's no argument for me there. There's people trying to cancel everybody all around just for having a difference of opinion. Now, what is interesting about this, as you've already guessed, is if you could just choose a different gender, why can't you choose a different nationality or a different race? If you can be a man trapped in a woman's body or vice versa, why can't you be Korean trapped in a white person's body? or an African-American trapped in a Latino's body, and so on. Why are some people that are constantly asking for acceptance and love and understanding attacking Ali London? Why? We know why. Because to them, it's absolutely absurd. But when we suggest to them that it's absolutely absurd, then we're hateful bigots. Now, What's interesting is there are some teachers in high schools and so on that if you refer to a student by their incorrect pronouns, they could get fired. Happened in a, a county near, near where I live in West Point, Virginia. What happens when a student suddenly decides, um, excuse me, teacher, I'm Cameroon or I'm Samoa, all right? And the teacher, is the teacher supposed to continue in enabling this fantasy from the student when that student is not from the country from which they say they are? I don't think there's any faculty or administration uh, that will push for that. However, you have to do it when a male student suggests that they are a girl or a female student suggests that they are male. Is the madness not the same? Now, when we reflect on a few verses of the Bible, Genesis 1.27, God created man in the image of God. He, God, created them male and fame, female. Genesis 5.2, male and female, he created them and he blessed them. And then continuing on into the New Testament, Jesus corroborates this, you know. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And in Matthew, Jesus said, didn't you read the scriptures? God created man, male, and female. And that's why when a man gets married, he leaves his mother and father and cleaves to his wife and they become one flesh. So when we read this, God created man, male, and female, you probably look at that and go, well, of course he did. Five years ago, that would have just been superfluous text. But now, in light of what's happening today, today, the timelessness of the Bible really shines through the clouds, right? Now we look at this and go, it's almost like God is saying to us, look guys, I created you male and female. Not three quarters male and one quarter female. Not 50-50, not 30-60, not along the spectrum. There's male and female. That's it. Look, you can actually be half Korean, half American. 
half French, half Samoan, half Canadian, half Mexican. Those things happen. Those things, those things are possible. You can be half black, half white. We can mix nationalities. We can mix races. But how do we mix genders? Is that possible? That's my question to you. But what do you guys think about Ali London? Are you upset with him? Do you think he's making a farce of this? I don't think so. He's gone through $150,000 worth of surgeries. He is committed to this. People don't just do this to chastise or make fun of a particular community. He is committed to being Korean. So, should you accept him? All the people out there who are woke and uh, advocates of the LGBT community, are you not obligated to accept a non-binary person who believes that they are of another race? Or do you reject him simply because he is white? White and male. I don't know. I think this is a fascinating topic, interesting question. I believe, personally, life was much more simple when we just kind of adhere to the Bible. Male and female. That would just so simplify things. It's not hurtful. It's just the way it is. We can all get over it. We learn to operate like this for thousands of years. Let's just get back to that. Okay? Can we? No? We can't? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And as always, I love you and have a blessed week.